So friends, if you want to install Mac OS 12 root on pre-install Windows 11, then this video is gonna help you a lot. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS Aventura on pre-installed Windows 11. That means Windows 11 with Mac OS Aventura 12 root. To perform this method, you will need three things. One is a stable internet connection via LAN cable because while installing Mac OS Aventura, Wi-Fi will not work. Only for the LAN connection. Then a 2 to 16 GB USB pen drive. Please don't use 32 GB USB pen drive. Before doing the process, make sure you have taken a backup of your computer. How to take a backup? I have made a previous video. If you want to know how to take a backup of your PC, the video link will be given in the description. So friends, first of all, just open a browser and search for CPUZ and open the very first link. Just scroll a little bit and click on the English setup file and click on download. After downloading, open file explorer and go to download folder. Just install the CPUZ. Click on yes. Now just open CPUZ. Click on yes. Just to wait here a little bit. Now here you'll find the code name. In my case, it is Skylake. You will have to note down the code name. Now just open the browser again and in the description you will find a e file link if you are using laptop then click on laptop if you are using desktop then click on desktop i'm using desktop then i have to go to desktop and here the name is skylake okay then i'll have to download the skylake it is skylake just click on download the download is started okay after downloading the efi just to go to another link and download the recovery by clicking here Okay, after downloading just close the browser and again open the file explorer and in download section you will find cpu recovery and in download section you will find the cpu z application and recovery file and skylake now insert a pen drive from 8 to 16 gb please don't use 32 gb usb pen drive okay after inserting the pen drive just again open file explorer and in this pc and, and just right click on usb and click format just select fat32 and just click on start click on ok everything on your pen drive will be deleted okay it is completed now you'll have to create a minimum 100 gb new volume to install mac os and rename the drive and to rename the drive as mac os click on continue okay it is renamed as mac os and usb also formatted now just open the usb folder and put it here on the right side of the desktop and now just open again this pc and put it just like here okay now go to download folder and, and just right click on your efi file and click on extract all just uncheck it and click on extract now just open the skylake folder open again skylake folder and right click on the efi folder just select copy and paste it to the usb pen drive okay now just again go back and right click on the recovery file and click on extract all just click on extract okay after extracting just open the recovery folder again recovery folder and copy this file to the usb just to wait a little bit okay now everything is copied and you can now just close everything and now you will have to restart your pc and access the bias menu of your pc to access the bias menu of your pc you can follow this photo on the screen otherwise you can search on google now just restart your pc On security tab just check the secure boot is enabled or disabled you will have to just disable the secure boot on startup tab if csm is enabled just disable the csm on advanced page cpu setup just click on enter just enable the intel virtualization technology next vtd should be disabled intel hyper threading should be enabled and on devices select ata device setup just click on enter and here the configure sata as ahci after setting up everything just click on f10 and press on enter now just you will have to access the bios menu of your pc to access the bios menu of your pc you can see for this photo otherwise you can search on google from boot menu just select your pen drive efi and click on enter on this screen just select mac os recovery and click on enter just to wait a little bit here now just on the screen select your language click here now just click on utility and click on continue click on the drop down and click on show all devices now just select the mac os which we have created and just click on erase and put the name as same from the drop down select apfs and just click on erase it is done just click on done now just now just close the utility now on this stage make sure your internet connection is connected with a LAN cable in this stage your Wi-Fi will not work okay now just click on reinstall Mac OS Ventura and click on continue again click on continue now just click on agree again click on agree now just select your Mac OS drive and click on continue you will download the Mac OS recovery from internet directly so you will have to wait here patiently after the download is completed your pc will be automatically booted up to windows now just again restart your pc and access the boot menu of your pc in boot menu again select the pen drive and click on enter now on this menu you will find mac os installer select the mac os installer and hit enter you will have to wait here for a few minutes
After start again select your pen drive and click on enter Again select macOS installer and click on enter Again select your pen drive and click enter Now select macOS and hit enter Again select your pen drive and click enter Now again select macOS and hit on enter Select your region and click on continue Again click on continue Click not now Click on continue Click on not now Click on setup later Click on skip Click on agree Again click on agree Here put your full name Then account name will be automatically populated Then select your password Again verify the password And you can put a hint Then just click on continue Again click on continue Click on don't use Choose your city Then click on continue And check this Click on continue Click on setup later now just select the theme and click on continue ok now just click on quiet ok mac os venture is installed on your pc now just open safari browser ok now here your browser will not work properly just search download chrome and from here just download the chrome after downloading just go to here and open the dmg file double tap on here just drag and drop the chrome to this folder and just installing just wait if you let Okay, now just close it. Now just go to app drawer and open the Chrome browser. Now here just search for open core configurator. Now just select the very first link and just scroll a little bit. Just download from here. The download has been started. You will have to wait here for a little bit. Download is completed. It just minimize the browser. Now just open the finder app and go to downloads. Here you will find the open core configurator. Just double tap on it. Open core will be extracted. Now just double click on open core configurator. Here you will find our error message. Click on OK and click on the Apple logo and select the system settings and go to privacy and security. Scroll a little bit. And here you will find open core configurator. Just click on open anyway. Just put the password and click on enter ok just click on open now you can close the settings now just click on tools and click on mount efi and here you will find no name os just click on mount partition and again put the password and hit enter just click on open partition now we can just minimize this also minimize this now open the pen drive open the efi folder and select boot and oc right click on it and select copy now on this folder just open the efi folder and right click select paste to items now just click on replace okay it is completed now everything is set up just close everything and now just again click on start and restart your pc click on restart and now you can remove your usb pen drive before start so friends first of all just click on start bar and search for cmd and run as administrator click on yes type bcd edit and hit enter now just type this command command will be given in the description also and hit enter the operation is completed successfully now just close the command prompt now just simply restart your pc here on the screen you will find the, the dual boot option just select a mac OS and click enter Now just put the password of your Mac OS and hit enter. Now it is done. For well, following this tutorial, Mac OS Ventura with Windows 11 12 boot has been installed on your PC. If you find this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends. We will meet on another day on another topic. Till then, take care.